hey guys welcome to my channel today my name is usetale today's tutorial video i'm going to be sharing with you guys how i recreated the shared dress to make this beautiful one that you see me wearing if that's something you're interested in please subscribe to the channel keep on watching and let's get started so guys this is the fabric i'm going to be using for this tutorial you're going to be needing three years of fabric and these are the pieces i'm going to be using for the design at the chest area these are the measurements you're going to be needing for this tutorial so to start this tutorial i'm going to go ahead and open up my fabric then i will fold it into two just go ahead and fold your fabric into two the way you see me do you are going to fold your fabric using your round hip measurement divided by 4 plus extra 4 inches. So this is where my round hip measurement is. I added extra 4 inches to it. So that's how you are going to fold it. Now you are going to go ahead and come to this end here. You are going to mark 2 inches all the way to the end. Then go ahead and connect this with a straight ruler. Now this part that I marked out is going to be for the bottom flap, okay? So I'm going to go ahead now and fold this inside. So just go ahead and fold it in the way you see me doing, then iron it out. So guys, after doing that, now the next thing you're going to do is to come here and rule a line which is going to serve as your starting line. After you're done ruling that line, on that line, go ahead and take your shoulder measurement divided by 2 plus half inch. Then on the mark, come down by 1 inch. Then come here and mark 2.75 wide. Then you come down by 3 inches for the neck depth. Go ahead and connect your shoulder slope. Then use your curve ruler to connect your round neckline. After you're done doing this, guys, now it's time to take all the horizontal measurement. Place your tape on the starting line and mark to your bust point, your waistline, your hip length, and go ahead and take the full length of this shirt. Add one inch for the sewing allowance, then go ahead to rule this out. After you're done doing that, now you're going to come to this point. You're going to come down by your round bust measurement divided by 6 plus 1.5 inch. So that's how you're going to determine your armhole depth. Mark it and go ahead and connect it. After you're done doing that, now on this line, divide what you have into two and get the midpoint of it. So on that point, go in by 0.75 inch. Then now on this line, take your round bust measurement divided by 4 and connect your armhole. After you're done doing this now, the next thing you're going to do, this is our initial bust measurement divided by 4. I'm going to add 1 inch for the sewing allowance. Then go ahead and connect this line to meet the bust point. Then come to the waistline and take your round waist measurement divided by 4 and add 1 inch for the sewing allowance. Do the same thing on the hip line and as well on the hem line. So on the hem line, you're going to measure what you have on, on the hip line and you minus half inch from it and take it on the hem line. Now go ahead and connect all these dots. So guys, you can see how I'm using my ruler to create the curve. So this is how you're going to do it. After doing that, this is what you're going to have. Now you're going to come to the hemline. Just go up and mark one inch. Then use your curve rule to just connect it just like that. Then now go ahead and cut this out. Guys, when you're cutting, don't cut the neck yet. Add half inch to the shoulder line while you're cutting. Now go ahead and cut everything out. So guys, this is what you are going to have after you are done cutting. Now I'm going to place this aside. I went ahead to fold my fabric into two again that I will use to cut the back. Now I'm going to bring the front piece. I will place it on the fabric just like this. Now I'm going to go ahead and trace this out. Guys, when tracing the armhole, add half inch to the back armhole. Don't cut exactly what you cut for the front. Did you see? So that's how you are going to do it. Now go ahead and cut everything out. So guys, after cutting now for the neck, I'm going to come here. I will mark down 0.75 inch. 0.75 is not up to 1 inch. Then go ahead and just connect it like this. So guys, after you're done doing that, cut this out. Now go ahead and cut the front neckline out as well. So this is what you're going to have. Now the back and front pieces are ready. So this is how you are going to have it. Now I'm going to place this aside. Then we go ahead to cut the sleeve. For the sleeve, I'm going to bring my fabric. Go ahead and fold your fabric into four. So you are going to first fold it into two like this. Then you are going to go ahead and fold it again. 
so i folded the fabric into four after you're done doing this iron it out now i'm going to rule a line here which is going to serve as my starting line the length of my sleeve is 18 inches and the band is going to be as long as 3 inches so 3 inches away from 18 inches I have 15 inches I'm going to be cutting this part out with 16 inches which is extra 1 inch added to my length so now come here and come down by 4 inches so on that mark just go ahead and use your free hand to make a curve like this just like this guys it's not difficult after you're done doing that take your round arm hole measurement divided by two on the line and mark it add extra one inch for the sewing allowance then now you're going to take your round arm measurement just come down by about six inches take your round arm measurement there and add extra one inch for the sewing allowance now you're going to come here and mark what you mark on your round arm go ahead and connect these dots after you're done doing that just blend it and cut it out so guys this is it this is going to be for the sleeve body now i'm just going to go ahead and chalk the wrong face so that i won't mess it up while i'm working with it so now I'll place this aside i went ahead to cut out the band for the sake of time so i folded my fabric into two and i cut it out it is three and a half inches long the half inches for the sewing allowance and it is 12 inches long which is my band measurement plus the extra one inch which is going to be for the sewing allowance now it's time to start sewing i'm going to bring the front pieces i'm just going to go ahead and take these front pieces to the sewing machine i'm going to fold the um, button flap area you can see where i notched there so just fold it in a way that where you notch is in the middle of your fold guys i don't know if you understand that so just fold it and make sure it is in the middle of your fold now you're going to take this to the sewing machine and just sew it just like this fold it and sew it all the way to the end and after you are done doing that you will do the same thing to the other one this is what i had after i was done folding it guys i don't know if you can see this so that's what you're going to have now the next thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and bring the back piece i'm going to place them together I'll just place the front piece on the back piece making sure that the right sides are facing each other now I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and join the shoulders so guys this is what I had after I was done joining the shoulders as you can see so this is what you are going to have I went ahead to pin this button area together now I'm going to bring this piece of fabric I'll be using for the collar so before you go ahead to cut out your collar you are going to fold your fabric into two like this and measure around your neck to make sure that you have your neck measurement that you need so my neck measurement i'm making use of is 16 inches divided by two i have 8 inches so i have exactly what i need i don't need to increase it so i went ahead to make the color of camera this is for the sake of time if you missed my previous video on how to make color you are going to be seeing a card on the screen right now please use that card to watch it okay so guys now you're going to go ahead and fix your color to your fabric just place the part where you notch that's the middle of your color and the middle of your fabric place it together like this make sure that you are pinning it to the right side of your fabric okay and pin it all the way to the end just like this go ahead and do the same thing to the other side so guys this is what you're going to have now you're going to take this to the sewing machine and just sew it down this is what i had after i was done doing that as you can see now go ahead and make notches on this part that you just sewed so guys this is what you are going to have now the next thing you are going to do is to make sure you put the seam inside of the collar you don't want the seam to be showing so put it inside of the collar and iron it out just like this after you are done doing that you are going to use this other part of the collar to fold it and iron it out you will be using this to top stitch it so you can see what i'm doing i'm folding it in and i ironed it out now go ahead and top stitch it just like that so guys this is what i had after i was done top stitching okay so this is what you are going to have now the next thing i'm going to do is to bring the sleeves i'm going to be working on the sleeve go ahead and place the band together and make notch at the middle just like that and place it aside now you are going to bring the sleeve body you are going to take this to the sewing machine and make two loose stitches on it that we'll be using to gather it 
so this is what i had after i was done making the loose stitches so i'm going to go ahead now and pull the threads in order to give it that gather effect i also have a very detailed video on how to perfectly make gathers in this channel if you haven't seen that use the card you are seeing on the screen right now to watch it now i'm going to measure my band to make sure what i have in my fabric is exactly what i need okay just adjust it if it's not up to make sure that your gathers is at the middle okay now you're going to go ahead and join the band to the sleeve body so just place them together the right side facing each other and sew it down then you're going to do the same thing to the other sleeve this is what i had after i was done sewing the two sleeves as you can see you see how nice it came out the gather is at the middle so that's how it's supposed to look like now i'm going to place this aside and bring these pieces that i'm going to be using for the design at the chest area i already went ahead to cut them out i have eight and a half inches square for this and for this other one i have four and a half inches wide and i have eight inches long so i'm going to fold the ends of this piece of fabric so just bring my towel like this I'm going to go ahead and use my iron to fold the ends of this fabric so just go ahead and fold it like this and iron it out very well so you're going to iron it in a way that it is flat okay so make sure it is flat then do this to all the sides so i decided to use my cooler to actually press this down to make sure it is really really flat okay as you can see so if you don't have this cooler i'm using it is totally fine so you can do this without anything so this just to make it flat easily so i went ahead to do the same thing to this other piece so just go ahead and do it now this is what i had after i was done doing that everything is ready now i'm going to bring my fabric i'll be marking where i will put the design i'm going to be putting the design at the left hand side so just go ahead and mark down 8.5 inches which is my pocket length i'm going to be using my pocket length for this so i went ahead to really align there now i'm going to place this bigger one on it like this then i'm just going to align it we're making sure that the gap between your bottom flap and the cloth is just like half inch now go ahead and pin this down so guys after pinning now you're going to take this to the same machine and just sew it so this is what i had after i was done sewing this first one to the fabric now i'm going to bring this other one i'll place it on top of the first one in this way so this totally depends on how you want to do it so now go ahead and sew this on it as well so this is what i had after i was done sewing the design you can see how pretty it came out so this is how it's going to look now the next thing is i'm going to bring my sleeve i'll be attaching the sleeve to the body so just go ahead and place the middle of your sleeve where you notch at the part where you join your shoulder and pin it down now go ahead and pin this to this side and pin it to the other side as well after you're done pinning you're going to take this to the sewing machine and sew it just like that now you're going to do the same thing to the other sleeve this is what i had after i was done attaching the sleeve as you can see our dress is already coming out pretty now what i'm going to do next is i'm going to flip this to the wrong side so just flip it to the wrong side and put the sleeve together like this just align everything together go ahead and join the sides using the measurements that you added for the sewing allowance do the same thing for the other side this is what i had after i was done joining the sides as you can see now the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to take it to the sewing machine and hem the damp part so just fold it like this and hem it round so guys this is what you're going to have after you are done hemming so this shirt is almost ready you can see so this is what i have now the last thing i'm going to do is to go ahead and put my button holes and i will attach my buttons and that will be basically all for this tutorial let me know what you think about this video in the comment section is this a tutorial you're going to be trying out let me know in the comment section thank you so much guys for watching please don't forget to subscribe like and share i'll be seeing you all in my next video